But first, News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway joins us live this morning from our Noble Mobile Newsroom. Zach, you know, I, I know over the weekend you were talking about the fact there was a scramble to get some of those SunPass monitors, and uh, some places have sold out. Yeah, you know, Bruce, I showed up to a local grocery store this past weekend to buy a SunPass, and they were all out of the portable. So. I had to buy a SunPass Mini, which will still do the trick. But to give you a look, a perspective on how busy things are on 295, we're headed south. You can see the town center is to our right. So we are approaching JTB, but you can see traffic is thick. So we're still a little ways from where those express lanes start. I am anxious to see how those lanes will alleviate traffic ahead. But for your information, Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and again starting at 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., drivers who access these express lanes will be charged a minimum toll price of 50 cents. Now that amount could fluctuate depending on traffic. In order to travel in these lanes, drivers will need to have an active and properly mounted sun pass or a transponder from another toll authority such as Peach Pass. Now that's just an example. You'll want to check with your toll authority because not all will work. Only two axle vehicles will be permitted to access express lanes. You can buy sun passes at sunpass.com and some major retail stores throughout Florida. The SunPass Portable will cost you $19.99. That's the one that grocery store that I stopped by this past weekend was sold out of. The SunPass Mini runs at $4.99. Drivers who use express lanes without a valid SunPass, and I, we saw a sign that will support this, will receive a letter that could vary from a warning to a $25 unpaid toll violation to even a citation. Now, transportation officials tell me they anticipate other portions of this project, like express lanes in the town center area, which we're driving through right now, which could be actually what these construction workers are working on as we speak, are expected to open this fall. So, 